I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. So, all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street out of Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization, man. We come out here and teach the people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the real Jews according to the Bible. If you are black, Hispanic, or Native American, you are the children of God, man. You are something special on this earth. And that's what we come out to teach in the ISUPK. We come out to teach that because guess what? We've been taught something different all our lives. America has taught us that we are the bottom of the earth. America has taught us that we are nothing but criminals and thugs. Look what they call us when we go out in the streets to protest. The police killing our people. They call us thugs for protesting justice, for wanting justice in America. I thought America was the land of the free, the home of the brave, the just, la la Lady Liberty, Lady Justice, man. I thought America was that beautiful place where we can have justice and we all equal. You know what's the truth? The truth of the matter is we're not equal. In America, nobody's equal. And it's not hard to believe. Look at our lives. Look at black people's lives and then look at white people's lives. You know how you know we're not equal? D.C. used to be Chocolate City. Guess what? D.C. not Chocolate City no more. U Street used to be Little Harlem, man. U Street not like that no more. You know why? Because there's one people that I have power right now on the earth. And that people are the oppressors, according to the Bible, man. The devil. And those people have convinced us that we are all the same. That we all bleed red. That we all are equal. When that's not the truth. That is a lie, man. The Christian church has taught us that God loves everybody. That for God so loved the world. Well, that's not even in the Bible. Christians have been teaching that in church for 400 years. And that is nowhere in the Bible. The same Bible that they claim to follow. The same Bible that's up there on a pick, the preacher's pulpit. While he's lying. You know why? Because they don't teach the Bible, man. They don't teach the Bible. Let this noise pass. Give me through the Romans 7 and 6. According to the Bible, there is one people greater than the other. According to the Bible, there is one people better than the other. According to the Bible, there is one people superior to the other, man. And it's not our words, it's the Bible. The problem is we've never known this our entire lives. Why haven't we learned this in church? Why haven't we learned that there's no such thing as equality? Maybe if we would have learned this early on, we wouldn't be joining hands with these murderers, begging for justice, thinking our vote matters. You can go and vote for Donald Trump, you can vote for Joe Biden, hell, you can go and vote for Kanye, but guess what? Nothing is going to change our conditions as long as we keep begging them to change them for us. We have to be the ones to change our conditions, and the way we do that is first understand we can never be equal to these people. We are better than these people, and the Bible says so. Read that. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. 
for thou art a holy people. The Bible says, for thou art a holy people. This scripture right here is such a heavy scripture because most of us never heard this in church. Most of us never even read the Bible when we was in church. If they pick up the Bible in church, the pastor read one or two scriptures and then he go on philosophizing, making up garbage. When in the Bible it says, thou art a holy people. This is what the Bible is saying about this people. Keep reading. For thou art a holy people. The word holy means separate. That's what the word holy means. The Lord is saying we are a separate people. That's not hard to believe. We're separated in the ghettos. We're separated in the burials. We're separated in the reservations. The jails are separated with nothing but blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The child support offices are not filled with nothing but blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The abortion clinics are filled with nothing but blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But you want to tell me we all the same. We all equal. Well, why is it nobody else suffering the way we suffering in the ghettos, man? Why is it nobody else starving the way we starving, man? Why is it nobody else sick and hurting and in pain the way we are? You know why? Because it's common sense. We're not equal. We're not equal. We should stop looking to be equal because the Bible says, guess what? Those very people that are suffering, that are on the bottom in America, guess what? In a perfect kingdom, in God's kingdom, we will be on top. And this is what the Bible says it, man. Not what, not what Pastor says, not what T.D. Jake says, not what Creflo Dollar and any black politician or entertainer says. Nick Cannon can apologize all day, but guess what, Nick Cannon? It won't stop the fact that we are the real Jews and we are better than everyone on the face of the earth, says God, man. Read that from the top. Tell them where you went so they'll know we coming from the Bible. We coming from the very book that everybody claimed to know. Everybody an expert on the Bible, huh? Well, how come we never knew this was in here? How come we never knew we were special? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says we are a holy people, a separate people unto the Lord thy God. Keep reading. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Bible said the Lord thy God hath what? Have chosen thee. Have chosen thee, man. To choose something means you are excluding something as well. If you got five pairs of shoes in your closet and you pick one pair to wear, you chose that pair. But what does that mean for the other four pairs? They did not get chosen. That's what the Bible is saying right now. The Lord has chosen a certain set of people, which means God doesn't love everybody. If God loved everybody, why is he choosing one set of people and leaving out another? I'll prove it to you. Let's keep reading. To be a special To be a what? Special. To be equal. Special. Black Lives Matter. Special. The Bible says God has chosen us to be a special people, man. Not equal. Not the same as. Not we all bleed red. The God of the Bible says blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are special. And that's why God is going to destroy America. Because we don't know that. We don't see that in this kingdom. In this kingdom, we are the least in everything. We are the worst in everything. The highest in the high blood pressure, the highest in diabetes, the highest in AIDS, the highest in abortions, the highest in murders, man. We are everything wrong because we've been lied to to not believe we are God's holy people. And if we knew that, maybe we would follow this same Bible that says that. Maybe we will be the Lord's children. Keep reading. To be a special people unto himself above all. Oh, say, uh, to be a special people, read. Above all. The same act. Above all underneath. Above all. Above all, man. What does it mean to be above? I'll help you. Who is, who is above you at your job? Your supervisor. Your boss. You're not equal to your supervisor. Your supervisor, your boss, your manager is above you. They have authority over you. They make decisions on whether or not you can feed your family or not. And guess what? According to the Bible, we are the ones that should be making those decisions. We are the ones that are special to God, man. We are the ones who God loves. 
and nobody else. The Bible just said he chose us to be his special people. If he chose us, that means he doesn't love everybody else. So where do we get this lie from that God loves everybody, man? Who's been lying to it, to it telling us that? Who's been telling us God loves everybody? I'll tell you who. These lying pastors who work for America, who work for the oppressor, man. That's why they have never told black people the truth. How many of us grew up in church and thought we was, thought we was Africans, thought we were thugs and criminals? We never knew we were God's children and only us, man. That's why it's important that we come back to this Bible. We come back to our culture, man. Our culture is found in this book and everything about America tries to get us to not follow this Bible because they know if we follow this Bible, our real culture, then we would be special. We would be on top, man. I mean, look what we do in the ghettos. Look what we do in captivity, man. In captivity, we still make America great. Brother, if we was on top, we will rule this place. If we follow this Bible, we will rule this place. And that's why there's such an agenda to make sure black people don't read the Bible, to make sure black people don't trust the Bible, to make sure black people hate what's coming out of this book. We think the Bible is associated with Christianity, when Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible. Christianity is a lie. All religions are garbage, man. Jehovah's Witness, Islam, Mormons, Rastafarianism, all that is garbage because it doesn't follow our true culture. Our real culture is in this book. It's not a black man's culture to sell drugs. That's not our culture. It's not our culture to molest children. It's not our culture to rape women. It's not our culture to steal and to murder and to lie. That's American culture. That's the culture of the people that told us we weren't special. And that's why they give us everything else but our real culture. That's why Nick Cannon had to apologize. Because he is not allowed to tell the truth without consequences. Guess what? We tell the truth back here. We tell the truth regardless because it has to be told, man. It has to be told. Give me Psalms 147 and 19. This Bible is nothing but black supremacy. I bet we didn't know that. How many people grew up in church and still go to church to this day and didn't even know the book that's in the goddamn church is black supremacy? How the hell you got a white Jesus when the book is all about black people being on top? How you got a white Jesus when the Bible says Christ is black? Because we've been lied to. And the truth is, black people are better than everybody, man. That's right. Nobody wants to hear that, but it's the goddamn truth. Right. We are special, man. And we are better than everybody else. It's not hard to believe, man. It's not hard to believe. Black women are the baddest women on the face of the earth. Black men are the strongest men on the face of the earth. Right. Black people are the most compassionate people on the face of the earth. Black people are so compassionate and forgiving that we forgive the people that murder us. And we still try to hold hands with them, man. We're so compassionate in this place. We are better people than them all the way around. And if we would come back to this Bible, our real culture, we would be able to see it as plain as day. Read that. Psalm 147, 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. The Bible says, the, the God of the Bible showed his words unto Jacob. Who is Jacob according to this Bible? We read it last week. Jacob is the forefather of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the real Jews. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. No matter how much America tries to hide it, no matter how much the world wants to keep it a secret, we are going to come out here and tell it to the earth. We are the real Jews, man. And we're the real Jews because the Lord has chosen us to be that, man. The Bible says he's showing his words to our people. What are the Lord's words? You can find it right here in this book. The Bible is not for everybody. The Bible is only for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know how you know? I'll prove it to you. When the when United States of America got their independence on July 4th, 1776, and they wrote that constitution and that declaration of independence, when they said all men were created equal, where were black people at? While they wrote in their declaration of independence, all men had the right to life, liberty, and property. 
Where were black people at? Property. We were the property. We were the things that they had a right to. You know why? Because the Constitution doesn't apply to black people. The Constitution doesn't apply to Hispanics and Native Americans, the real Jews. And guess what? The black Constitution is the Bible. And this Bible doesn't apply to anyone else except us. These laws are our laws. The same way the Constitution is America's laws. The same way the Constitution gives white men the Second Amendment right and the freedom of speech, you see that doesn't apply to black people. Philando Castile was murdered. Philando Castile was murdered for legally having a firearm. According to America's Second Amendment, you have the right to bear arms. But Philando Castile was murdered for trying to exercise that right. We should tell you that Constitution does not apply to us. We have to follow it, but those rights are not given to us. Well, guess what? Here's the good thing. The Bible is our Constitution. The Bible is our culture. And that's why America doesn't want black people to follow the Bible. Because every nation needs laws. Every nation needs a set of rules to govern its people. And that's why the black community is in shambles. You understand? Because we ran from our laws. We ran from our rules, you understand? We ran from our laws. And it's right here in the Bible. Imagine if, Mer if America didn't have the Constitution. You understand? If America didn't have a Constitution, there would be no America. There would be white men riding around in pickup trucks right now, raping kids, stealing women. They doing it right now with the Constitution. Imagine if there wasn't any laws. America would be run by these redneck devils, man. The same ones that shooting down our kids in the streets. The same ones that join the police forces and murder our people. But guess what? The Bible is our constitution. And the Bible says God has given it to us. Keep reading. His statutes and judgments unto Israel. His statutes and judgments unto Israel. God has given us laws. God gave, gave us laws because God never wanted us to be a part of this nation. The God of the Bible never wanted us to join hand in hand with these devils. God wanted us to establish our own nation as the real Jews, as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You know what happened when we became integrated with America? We became segregated amongst our own people. Ain't it crazy how that works? When black people became integrated with America, we became segregated amongst ourselves. We have to stop following after American culture. American culture is absolutely destructive for black people. It's American culture to get high, to get white boy wasted. You understand? That's not our culture, man. Our culture is to be honorable, to take care of the women and kids, man. To be a protector, man. Our culture is everything honorable, and American culture is everything dishonorable. That's right. And that's why the God of the Bible gave us laws. We should even join with this nation. We should have our own nation. In our nation, there wouldn't be 75,000 black women missing. In our nation, there wouldn't be child molestation. In our kingdom, there wouldn't be murder. There wouldn't be brothers getting robbed. There wouldn't be two million black men in prison. In our kingdom, there wouldn't be 350,000 black babies murdered in the abortion clinics every year, man. That's why the God of the Bible gave us laws so that we can be separate from these people. You gotta understand, God doesn't love everybody, man. And I know it's hard to hear because everything about American culture is to make us to believe that we're all one while we're making the white man rich. You understand? Go ahead, sir. And what, and what the, what the brother is bringing out is so heavy, man. Like black people, like like we need to, we need to, we need to go back to the community. We we we, we can make we can eat our own our own food, our own fried rice, our own chicken, and everything. The, the, the Chinese and Japanese, they have their own culture. They eat their they eat their, their eel and sushi and octopus and all that. The Africans, they got their own they got their own culture, man. They eat all the, the crickets and monkeys and whatever they eat. Black man, you need a, we need to go back to our culture where we eat our food. And we are protecting our community because once, like, if, if a black man is policing his own community under under, under a black agency, 
we will understand our we we understand each other's each other's problems. So so it would not be so much harass harassment like these racist cops are doing. These racist cops they don't understand black problems. So of course they are afraid of you, and of course you are a threat, and that's why they pull a gun out on you because a white man don't understand black problems. We need black men to, and Latino men to deal with black and brown problems, man. That's right. That's what the, the, brother, what the brothers bring out is so heavy because if black people, if, if, we, if we go back to our own culture, our structure would be different from a Roman or white, a white, stru, a white structure. Our structure would be different and our laws would be different from an Asian or a Japanese structure, man. So, to bring it up, what I'm saying is this, the same thing with a woman. What the brother said about the rape and the rape and molestation. It's, it's a law in the Bible that the that the that if you want to marry a woman, or if you want to have if you want to marry a woman, you go to that man, you go to that man, that daughter's, you go to her father, man. You go to you go to her father and let the father know, look, I'm interested in your daughter. It's just it's not uh, what with, with our woman following America today, what happens? Our daughters and our mothers and our aunts lay down with Multiple men, right. but if we live, if we lived in, if we lived in our, in, in, in our own village, man, and in, in our own nation, following, following our own laws, which is in the Holy Bible, a woman could not have multiple bodies on her. Right. They would not have a big, a huge body count. Right. Now, now, like, like I was, I was talking to my, um, I was, I was talking to my, my cousin the other day. He got a girlfriend. He said, man, she only had two boyfriends or three boyfriends. I'm her third boyfriend. In America, that's a damn, that's a version. If a woman, and, 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 which is terrible, in America, if you get a if you get a, a girlfriend right now or a wife right now, and she only has sex with three men, she is a virgin compared to America. Why? Why am I saying that? Because we know women that got their body counts is in what the twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, eighties, nineties, hundreds, two hundreds. It's crazy, man. It's, it, it's sometimes it's not in one hole, one end. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous, but it's because the reason that why our daughters are like that and our mothers is like that is because we live in a sinful kingdom, right. and we follow sinful. America's culture is sinful, man. That's right. It's sinful. But if we come back to the Bible and had our own culture, just like every other nation, the Africans, they got their own culture. These East Indian, they got their own culture. They worship cows, man. They put their head under the cow, under cows and let cows urinate on their head. That's their culture. Yeah, brother, they do. They, they worship cow urine, cow piss. Africans too. But our culture is different and holy from America's. What I'm trying to say is we need to get back to our culture, man. That's right. Every other nation has their culture. Black men, we are failing. In Latino, we are failing because we, we follow America's sinful culture, man. Right. Once you once you change that, you once you change that, black man, we'll be back together. We'll be stronger than ever. Right. Go ahead. And give that brother a powerful hand, man. He was jumping it real heavy, man. Everything about American culture is destructive for black people. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.